Good morning. It's time for another video. Today, we'll be talking about way stations. Way stations. He's going to talk about way stations. Way stations. Way stations. Oh my God. Way stations. Way station. Yes. Way stations. The proper way to do way stations. Way stations can be real confusing. So today I'm gonna to try to show you if I can run by a way station that's open, how way stations work. And the easiest way to try to get past it with no problems. Number one easiest way is to check your truck and your trailer, which is called what? A pre-trip. Make sure you do your doggone pre-trips. That's the best way you can be prepared for a way station. Make sure all your paperwork's right. Make sure all your parts are, are, are good to go on the road. Make sure your truck is road ready. It's the best thing you can do to prepare for going through a way station because you never know when you're gonna get that inspection. So the best thing you can do is be prepared. And today, I'm not gonna show you how to do a pre-trip. Mm -mm. Because by now you should know how to do one. If you're out here on the road, you should have already learned how to do a proper pre trip. So we're going to move forward and we are going to learn how to go through the way station. Because that's something that you might not learn on the road or in school. So I'm going to show you today. So check it out. There's two factors to a way station. Well, probably there's about three factors your speed, your weight, and your distance away from another truck. Those things are all factors in what you passing by a way station. There are two arms that come over the highway, over the right lane that you're in. The first arm that you pass under has a box under it, usually about rectangular size, comes over the highway. The truck passes under it. That box, that first one, tells, excuse my voice, because uh, I may be getting sick, but I don't know. We're not gonna worry about that though. But the first arm tells the information on the truck, tells about your company. The first arm allows them to get an roundabout weight on your truck. It weighs you while you are in motion. So, guess what? The first factor I said about the weigh stations, they can affect you. Speed, speed will fetch you on that. If the highway speed limit is 65 miles an hour or whatever the speed limit is, if you are going over that speed limit, you can possibly get pulled in because guess what? They can't get in a roundabout accurate weight on you. So tip number one, make sure you're doing the speed limit when you cross over and under that first arm over that moving scale. The moving scale is in sync with that first arm. Scale on the ground, arm in the air, little box looks at you. Tells the information on the truck, all right? That's one, number one thing. Two, second factor is gonna be your weight. Really a number one factor because that's what it's doing. It's weighing your around about weight when you come past the weigh station. So if you are heavy, most likely between 42, 45, 46,000 pounds. If you're heavy and they get in a roundabout weight that says basically you are heavy, they wanna probably check it out and see what's going on. See what exactly what you weigh. So you're probably gonna go in there if you don't have a prepass. Now a prepass is something totally different. A pre-pass is a little box that goes up in the window, up in the windshield. Gives you either a red light, which means come in the way station, or a green light, which means you're good to go. Keep rolling. But everybody doesn't have a pre-pass. I don't have a pre-pass, not yet, but I'm gonna get one. Because every time that way station's open, guess what? 
If you don't have a pre-pass, you don't know whether it, whether or not you have gotten the red light or the green light. So you must go in to find out. So back to the factors of the way station. We've already covered one, which is gonna be speed. Number two is going to be your weight. If your weight is iffy, meaning you are heavy, they're probably gonna pull you in. Third factor is gonna be the distance between you and the truck in front of you. If you are too close, <clears throat> if you are too close, <clears throat> wow, I am not gonna edit that out because this is real, all right? Losing the voice is real. If you are too close, that's better. If you are too close to the truck in front of you, you may get pulled in. Reason being, because you're too close. Second reason being, because they can't get an accurate weight on you. The first truck is rolled under the box and rolled over the moving scale. They've got a weight on it, but you come right behind them. So guess what? It almost looks like you're part of him. You know those trucks that have oversized load and they're longer than the normal 53 foot dry van or reefer? Yeah, now you look like one of those coming past and they wanna pull you in. So guess what? You're gonna get the red light. The person in front of you is probably gonna get the red light. They may get lucky and not get the red light. But you're gonna get the red light most likely and you're gonna go in the way station. That's what we call wasted time because you probably could have avoided that by keeping the necessary distance, which is usually 100 feet behind the truck in front of you. 100 feet will get you an accurate reading on your truck when you come past the moving scale. Now, there's a second arm that comes over the highway. This one usually has rectangular box that is turned pointing directly at you. That one is the box for the pre-pass. If you have a pre-pass, that's what tells you whether you're gonna get the red light or you're gonna get the green light. Red light, you're going in. Green light, you're keeping it moving. When you get that red light, or if you don't have a pre-pass, like me, and you have to go in when the way station's open, you're gonna come in the way station. They've got a set of cameras, set of uh, let me see you things that you're gonna come past. Be on your best behavior right there. Because at that point, they can possibly see you. Okay. okay, so none of this. Don't do this. Don't be like this in the way station. It's gonna get you caught. It's gonna be a bad day if you're doing this. You shouldn't be doing this anyway. So, next that out. Don't have these in coming past the way station. Don't do it. I've seen people get pulled in for that. Well, I've seen people get pulled around to the back for having headphones in their ear. Don't do it, all right? You may get lucky. You may get a officer in the way station that just doesn't give a damn. But do you really want to take that chance? Hmm? Probably not. Uh, now, after you pass those eyes, those cameras, whatever they can possibly see, you are going to pass over a second moving scale. At this point, they have probably told you on a sign that's in the way station line or in the way station lane that says, hey, go five miles an hour, or hey, go 10 miles an hour, or hey, keep it at 25 or 30 on a constant speed. When you get that speed, whatever it may be, follow that speed limit because that's gonna play a big factor into when you pass over this secondary moving scale. The secondary scale in the lane of you coming in the way station determines whether or not you are going to come on to the stationary scale, the scale where you stop and they totally check your weight. Now, they slow you down on the secondary scale. They get the accurate roundabout weight. If you are weighing correctly, most likely you're gonna to get to the bypass lane. Bypass lane 
has an arrow that tells you go that way or go that way whichever way the bypass lane is then you'll roll straight through and proceed back onto the highway now if your weight is still questionable on that second scale that second moving scale guess what you're gonna do it's gonna tell you to come over to the scale wake up make sure all your your p's and q's are in order make sure all your t's across your eyes are dotted because now is the time where you need to be prepared prepared prepare for a possible inspection because at this point when you come past the scale you are coming past a nice little window where they can see you they can see the truck they can see everything basically so you want to be prepared you want to be on your best behavior you want to be having your eyes straight you want to look like a professional driver so come across that scale it's probably going to tell you to stop make sure I cannot stress this enough and they have signs at some way stations that tell you this once you get up to the stationary scale make sure that you do not hit the brakes hard on their scale that will be the number one thing to piss them off don't hit your brakes hard ease onto the brake just ease onto the brake ease onto the brake because once you slam on that brake and that scale jerks forward and it moves you're probably going to hear them on the intercon say sir come into the way station come around back at that point it's probably safe to say that you're going to have a bad day okay so people let's avoid hitting the brakes hard on the scales avoid hitting the brakes hard so you roll onto the scale nice and easy Bow. let's say the weight's good huh some way stations have little digital number indicators that tells each weight of your axle steer axle drive axles trailer axles trailer tandems whatever you want to call it but once they have gotten your accurate weight you're either going to get the uh proceed to the highway message or intercom message or you're going to get the have your paperwork ready and pull around to the back please and come inside at that point just be prepared because anything can happen you can get the unknown truck inspection level one two or three or they can just ask you to come in for paperwork just so they can see your paperwork it can happen any kind of way you are at the way station officers the DOT officers discretion just depends on how they feel that day you may get lucky they don't even want to talk to you proceed onto the highway sir ma'am keep it moving so if you have any questions about anything way stations uh, if you need me to elaborate more on uh, things out on the road drop some comments drop some questions ask the dumbest question that you can ask is the one that you don't ask that's the dumbest question that you can ask alright subscribe to the channel stay tuned for more videos this is what we do out here this is what I do at least I'm on my way home I'm trying to make it there I got six hours six hours between me and this spot and me at home so let's ride let's get this over with I'll point the way stations out and you can learn from there stay with me ride with me and we'll get to it I'll try to explain it step by step and I'll try to show you as I'm explaining it step by step
I tried to show you the way stations. It didn't work out the way I planned. It happens that way. I happened to get lucky and come past the mall and they were all closed. But I did show you exactly what I was talking about. I tried to get a few angles or a few pictures of exactly the pieces that I was ta that I was talking about that involved the way station. So one day again, we'll try it again. When I, if I, when I think about it, uh, there will be more subjects to come. Uh, like I said, if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comment section. Subscribe to my channel, uh, please. Tune in for more videos. Like this video. We try to do what we can do out here when we can do it with what we got. Simple as that. Until the next video, I'm out. And I think you know what time it is.